Today we're going to be reviewing the eWin Champion Series Computer Office Gaming Chair. The good people over at eWin Racing reached out to me and asked me to do an honest review. I said, why not? Let's do it. And I want to give a huge shout out to eWin Racing for reaching out to me and actually sending me an eWin Champion Series Gaming Chair. So I've been sitting in this chair literally almost about a week. It's been a bit different to get used to because it's very firm and solid. I just wanted to just put that out there. Let's go ahead and break down some key highlights and key facts about this chair. So we're gonna talk about the box and the assembly. It's always important to me because I would like to get a smooth assembly. You literally get instructions inside of the box. Of course, you can also go to YouTube and look at how the chair is assembled, but I've had the actual experience of putting a chair together. I had an AK racing chair. I got around 2018. I've sitting in it until I've got the Ewan chair. So I put that chair together and I understand like how it works. So it took me about 30 minutes to actually assemble the chair. Now it does come with 12, items in the box on top of the white gloves which are the racing gloves now what we're going to do is go over the 12 items in the box the head pillow the lumbar cushion the seat base left and right side covers backrest multifunctional full tip mechanism class 5 hydraulic piston hydraulic sleeve assembly tool kit two allen keys eight screws a five-star wheelbase and PU caster wheel. So those 12 items do come in the box and that's the pretty much full assembly of the chair. Now, as far as the chair colors, you get three options. The Ewin Champion Series comes in three colors, light gray and black, gray and black, and pink and white. The assembly was pretty simple. The seat base was already assembled. It took me like 30 minutes tops to put the chair together and it was a pretty painless process. So it's not really hard if you've done it before. And if you're new to it, it may take you anywhere between 30 to 40 minutes, but you can always refer to the website or use the manual that comes in the box. Now the highlighted features of the Champion Series chair is the 40 armrest. Now you basically can move the armrests in, out, out, in. You can go up and down and it can go left and right. So you can adjust it to your liking and the way you like to sit, good customization. So that's one of my favorite things about it so far. The other highlight is that it can hold up to about 400 pounds of weight. Now I'm about five, seven and a half, five, eight, and I weigh about 195 pounds tops, right? So that's basically what I weigh, but it can hold up to 400 pounds. The only thing that I had to get used to is like the height of the back of the backrest, the back part of the seat for me in my previous chair. But right now, this one's a little lower right behind my head, as you can see. So as you, you see it right here, yeah, it's pretty dope, but it took a little adjusting to get to. It took a little time to get used to it it's because of the fact that i'm used to a chair that's higher behind my head so let's talk about the technology that ewin actually implemented in the chair as far as the foam part when you're sitting down it's called the ewin cold cure form the ewin cold cure foam feels solid and it conforms to your body while sitting it's kind of like a memory foam so that's like some crazy technology that they created which i really do like i literally can take the back the lumbar pillow off of the chair and sit in the chair like you can see them where you're sitting so it's kind of like a very strong memory foam cushion that conforms to the body and it's built pretty freaking good. So I really do like that because when I sit down, it feels like it's supporting my body and it's not too soft where it's giving too much or it's not too hard where it's uncomfortable, but it's good on the spine, right? So the Ewin Cold Cure Foam is the move. Trust me, you will like it. Now let's talk about the high density upholstery, that fabric. The fabric is really good. It's very breathable. It's just one of them situations where if you're used to sitting in like an a PU leather chair or like a leather type racing game chair or a leather chair period, it gets hot. So when the summertime comes, you literally burning up in a chair because it gets pretty hot. But with this right here, the material and the fabric is breathable and it just really feels, I feel no heat when I'm sitting down. I can literally feel the only heat from my body, but as far as the chair producing heat, it really doesn't produce all the heat until your body where you're feeling uncomfortable and not good, you know? It's one of those situations where you wanna be comfortable when you're editing, you're gaming, you're watching TV, etc. That's just with me, that's my thing. And the high density upholstery is the whole chair has it on there. It has like this grayish look with the black suede. It's a good look, especially with my system and my setup. I have like the Mac, the iMac color. So the iMac is pretty much like a silver and grayish like metal look. And I have black to go with it with the accents with my setup. So it looks really good when it comes together as a whole. And at first I didn't want the light gray, I wanted a dark darker gray, but the light gray actually is good with this fabric. So this chair is, is doing what it's doing. So the recommended height for this chair is between five, three and six foot five. That's a huge and a wider range of like different body types as far as height. And then as far as the weight, so it's up to about 400 pounds of weight. So you should be good to go if you don't weigh more than 400 pounds on the dot, right? 
So one of my things is the hubless caster wheels on the chair, but this chair actually has hubless casters where you could see and you have the actual see-through holes, like the just the hollow looking holes on the wheels. And you can glide in it. Like I really have no problems rolling around on it. I didn't have any problems as far as going back and forth, going in circles, doing what I need to do. And I'm on carpet. And then the actual chair mechanism, the multi-tilt chair mechanism is another thing too, where you can actually hit the side and tilt it where you can see me, but I do like it. It's pretty good, bro. Like, I mean, it's a chair, it's gonna do what it does. Let's go ahead and tilt out. And it's a smooth tilt too. So it's not one of those tilts where it's like too hard and it does click too as well. The adjustable height is another thing, but the gas spring, you know, mechanism, the lock and come back up but not over, but almost, but I drop down and it's just a little bit much better. It's more space too in my area. Cons with the chair, I really don't have any issues with the chair other than it being that this pillow behind me is a little smaller than the normal pillow that I had before. I'm starting to get used to the actual pillow size and I don't really need a huge pillow anyway, but the lumbar pillow is cool. And I really don't, like I said, I don't have any issues with the chair. As far as it conforming to my body and hugging me, it's the biggest part that I love the most because I'm comfortable when I'm over here shooting videos, playing the game, editing, watching TV. Now, if you are looking to purchase one of these chairs, guys, go ahead and use the code TICO, T-I-C-O. And if you use code TICO in checkout, you'll literally get 20% off your purchase on eWinRacing.com. Okay. I'm good to go, man. But anyway, with that being said, guys, if you are interested in a eWin Champion Series racing chair or an eWin chair, period, go into the description and in the comment section and look for the link and get 20% off of your eWin racing chair, okay? And I'd like to give a huge shout out to eWin again for sending me this product and letting me review it and test it, etc. This is an honest review for me. Trust me. I If I didn't like it, I wouldn't be sitting in it. And I would go back to my old chair. Anyway, with that being said, Chicago Tico. Peace.